Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for March 2023. This is a love reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and the energy to attract love in your own lives. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings on Friday. Then again on Monday, so if reading doesn't fit, don't ever try to wedge yourself into it. Just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So those will bring in aspects of money, career, moving, love, anything you could ask about. Mondays are a different style every week. Today is the only day of the month that I do a love reading. Next week, it'll be something entirely different. Do keep in mind, I'm reading the energy of the cards. You all have free will. If you don't like the direction that you're headed, you can change your energy and change the direction. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Cancer need to know about love to attract more love into their lives? Oh. I think we're going to take those, okay? I think there's, well, there's three. All right. You know, I don't usually get clarifiers on this, but if it's not a lot of cards, we'll take them. If it's losing control of the deck, that's a little different. All right, this is your energy. You've got the Fool, the King of Cups, and the Sun. Their energy, the person you're attracting, is the Hangman, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. The advice is the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Well, I would say you do. It is in the cards. You've got quite a few major arcana here. Um, so you've got, uh, interesting, because you have the Nine of Cups here with the King of Pentacles and Judgment. That's what came flying out. So for some of you with this, it may be that decision to love. But, you know, with Judgment, that's the Archangel Gabriel. He blows that horn of ascension. So with this, there's freedom, there's autonomy, but there's real love coming in here. Before we get too far, we have... Four, no, I'm sorry, five major arcana now that we have these three involved. We've got Leo, we've got Virgo, water, earth, and air here. So that nine of cups, one of the lottery tickets of the tarot, but it's wish fulfillment. That nine of cups is high vibrational energy. It's this, this trio, I'm telling you, this is high vibrational stuff to attract a match. The king of pentacles too is a partner for life. It's somebody who commits and they stick to it. He is a real, in terms of being a partner, somebody who is thoughtful, somebody who's considerate, who is humble in their ways. So this is not somebody who's posting pictures on social media that they've taken in various bathrooms. Don't you love it when you see somebody selfie and they're like in a McDonald's bathroom? You know, it's nothing says low self-esteem and desperation more than that. Okay, this person would not do that. And they may be somebody too, though. I do get um, kind of a, a gift for photography, like even using their phone. They may actually be pretty good at it, but they just, again, like they're not here to, to look like they're desperate. So I definitely feel like you have a partnership coming in that's really beautiful, but with that full energy, this is marks a transition. This full energy says, take that leap of faith. You're going to be attracting people. But I do feel like, especially with this sun energy, it's high vibration. Again, much like the nine of cups and judgment is self-mastery. You're the second to the last major arcana here. So we have the first and the second to the last. Also with the sun, the sun comes right before judgment. So we'll get the king of cups back involved here. But when we look at this, what we're attracting, you have a beautiful love story unfolding. They're telling you, take that leap of faith. You, with the King of Cups, whoever it is that you're attracting is going to, pardon me on this, um, feel like you are an absolute confidant. With this too, you may find, like I said, because your energy is just magnetic. It is vibrant. You may find that people start confiding lots of things in you, even complete strangers and your friends and family around you might say, my God, people just start talking to you and tell you 
some of the most intimate details of their lives. It's this, because with the fool, you've released all resistance. You have no judgment here. You're wide open to the universe. You're ready to take that leap of faith. And so the fool ha is a vision quest. So in terms of relationships, it's the kind of energy where you'll jump right in with both feet and you'll love fiercely and fearlessly. There's nothing worse than having fear in a relationship because it just magnifies everything. It just is magnetic. So with the fool, it's trust, enthusiasm, and it's new beginnings. The fool marks a transition and it is this field of pure potentiality. So any new relationships here too are in that beautiful field that evolves and grows. And of course, with the sun, we know it's high vibrational with these wavy rays. But the sunflowers, the only other card that features sunflowers is the Queen of Wands, by the way. The sunflowers point towards the sun for energy, but when the sun goes down, they point towards one another. So whoever it is that you're attracting, they're not only going to be wonderfully compatible to you, beautifully supportive, but it's already, you're already manifesting one another. If you haven't met them yet, you will be soon. So their energy, again, with the vision quest, they have it here with the hanged man. That hanged man... I feel like for them, it it's surrender to win. That four, the, the number four is often associated with this. So it even may be into April here for them. Um, but with that hangman energy, there's an illumination. I feel like they get an aha moment. So you might meet this person out of the blue. It may be one of those things where expect the unexpected. All of a sudden, there the two of you are because you're manifesting. I also get too, though, they may do something kind of out of the box. They may end up deciding to go somewhere new and, and they happen to try a new gym and it's your gym. They go to a new hair salon and there you are, you know, that sort of thing. Or even online dating. If it's something like that and you say you've been online, I feel like this person has not. And so it may be one of those things where they take a leap of faith and it's like, oh my God. Or I also get this too. For somebody, one of you, there might you might live apart and you're traveling to an area. You turn on that app and they show up or you show up or, you know, together, obviously. Um, so I do feel like there's going to be something like that that stirs this. And I feel like it's magical to them. They can't deny the synchronicity of it. So the meeting feels like much of a chance encounter, but even if it's an app, because I know we'd say, well, that's pretty intentional to put yourself on an online dating site. But I do feel like, again, it's not in their nature. Whatever it is with that hangman energy, it's definitely something out of the box. So with the Ace of Swords, new beginnings abound here. And this one, they're going to commit. They're going to be very straightforward in their words. This person's very upright and integrous. They're not somebody who plays games. They don't want to. They might be a little older too, or maybe they have been married before or something like that. But I do feel like relationships are important to them. They have enough experience and maturity that they're just not here to screw around. So with that Ace of Swords, you've got the Yods or Yods of the Tarot coming in here too. Gifts, okay? So their straightforward communication, I feel like, is not only well received by you, Cancer, but it really solidifies the commitment. So with that Eight of Pentacles, they do make a commitment. They've got an unwavering faith and commitment to you. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it's vibration. So the underlying quality there is unity. And it may be somebody, too, who's very balanced in their life. I get that. Like they're spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, and physically fit. With the Eight of Pentacles, they may have worked hard, but also, too, manifested. They've seen the, you know, it's taking the action. It's But it's not simply the action because there's lots of people whose vibration is all over the place. They take an action and not much comes out of it. With this person, it's been pretty consistent delivery. That's what I feel. So in the advice here, we've got the hermit. Now the hermit is the perfect blending. The gray in the card is the perfect blending of black and white. It indicates balance, but that light, okay, you've got it again. This illumination is what I get. That la that lantern leads you in the night and says you're on the right path. He also holds that magical wand. So a very much, you're about to have a, a meeting with a very mature person if you have not met them already with the hermit. It's support too, though. So the two of you, I feel like, will be a really well-matched couple. And with that Ten of Cups, that's beauty, that's bliss, that's celebration. It is the happy family card too. So I feel like people around you also will be looking at this relationship and saying, where can I find someone like that? How did you two meet? 
how we're, you know, and it's again, after maybe for some of you, some dead ends, but that six of pentacles too brings in balance. It brings in beauty, reciprocity. So some of you are, I feel like by the time you hit summer, maybe even in the next four months, you could be moving or moving in together. For those of you that live at a distance, somebody here could be relocating. I do almost get though that if it's them, they might might work from home or have an opportunity to do that. I feel like it's not a total upending of somebody's life. It's just a natural progression. So yes, it's in the cards. What a beautiful reading. Now we are going to have an oracle card reading from the Whispers of Love. Okay, what else? Does Cancer need to know about love, please, to attract the love of their lives into their lives. Love advice for cancer. All right, so we will do a three card reading here. You've got receive with love and appreciation. Very beautiful card, slow down. And you've got love endures. So with this one, receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So this actually represents the past. And you're, what you are today is what you were. So those of you that have really been doing that spiritual work and saying you appreciate everything and you appreciate the fact that you manifested everything, whether you wanted it or not, I do feel like with this, it is magnetizing you in terms of drawing love into your life. So your current situation, you've got slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. So if we, um, if we had the, um, the other deck that we do, the angel answers, to me, this reminds me a little bit of wait. So allow things to unfold. So it's not being too pushy, too overzealous. It's knowing that the universe's timing is always perfect. And in the uh, future, you have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So if there is something to overcome, like a move or something, I don't see that being a barrier here. Love is energy and you're aligned with the energy of love. I love you too, Cancer, and I'll be back again soon.